Today we're going to unbox a TrendNet TEG S16DG desktop or rack mountable switch. This switch has 16 gigabit ethernet ports. It is an energy saving model, has the LED indicators that show connectivity, show the speed of the connectivity, that sort of thing. It has, let's look on the back side, maybe it'll show you here, it doesn't say. It does have an integrated power supply, which means you're not going to have that stupid wall block uh, transformer that's always getting in the way of blocking plugs, that sort of thing. So without further, further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this. This one is wrapped in plastic on the outside, so we're just going to start a little hole. And clear our plastic. Open the side flap of the box. Okay, so what we have in the box is the user's guide, quick installation guide, in one, two, three, four, five, seven different languages. Have a power cable. We have a set of black rubber feet. And we have the switch itself. This is not a full 19 inch rack mount switch, although it can be adapted. Pull it out of the box. Show you all the details. There's your diagnostic LEDs. You got your 1 through 16 uh, length activity lights, and it'll show green. If it's 100 meg, amber if it's gigabit. So one through 16 there. You've got a power supply that's internal and an on-off switch, which is sort of a fairly high-end feature, particularly considering the price point of this device. Like I mentioned, it's not a full rack mount format, but it is a steel chassis. You have your rack mount adapter holes here and there is a separate kit that you can buy from TrendNet. I think the average price is about $12. I, it can be found for eight. That's how much I paid for my kit, but it doesn't come with it. Um, there is a different model called the TEG S24, or I'm sorry, TEG S16G that has the normal rack format and it includes the rack ears. This model is a little more suitable if you think there's going to be some potential down the road for maybe installing in a structured wiring cabinet. The same thing goes with the TEG S24G and the TEG S24 DG. Um, the D is the small. Uh, the DG is the smaller, narrower model that needs the additional kit. The G only model is the full rack mount, uh, one that comes with the rack mounts. The reason I chose this switch, even though it's a secondary switch, um, I've got two switches to make up the two iSCSI fabrics was because I already own one of this model that is being replaced uh, with the 24 port full rack version and uh, this one here will uh, perfectly match it. By the time you see this video this particular variant is going to be unavailable. The uh, TrendNet has recently released a version 2.0, the firmware is slightly different and I believe it lacks that green band across the top of the chassis. That's really the only differences I can see. This switch, along with, from what I can tell, all of the other TEG series switches 
uh, allow you full jumbo frame support, which is something a little unusual in a low cost switch. Plus, these include lifetime warranty. So, they're a great buy, they're very reliable, performance has been fantastic on the ones that I've used. We have implemented them with uh, client organizations and uh, have never had a single problem with them as long as you're not needing a uh, layer two uh, managed type switch or a layer three switch. Um, this is a completely unmanaged switch. It's just plug and play. Uh, you're not gonna get VLANs or anything like that, but if you're buying this kind of product, chances are you're not looking for VLANs. So that's it. That's our unboxing of the TrendNet TEG S16DG. Thanks for watching.